One of the first pieces that I picked up are these cream couches. This is actually a love seat. I bought this couch from a furniture store that is local. I've never heard of it before in any other place. So yeah, I got it from a local furniture store. And like I said, it's just basically a cream couch that is super comfortable. It's lush, it's soft, and it just feels so buttery. I love it so much. So I got this love seat. And I also picked up this full-size couch. The color is just absolutely amazing and buttery, like I said. I was originally going to go with a white couch, but then I thought white would get dirty way too quick, so I decided to go with cream. I also wanted to show you guys these pillows, these decorative pillows that I got from Walmart. So these small decorative pillows on the other couch I got from Walmart, and these decorative pillows I also got from Walmart. The great thing about these decorative pillows is they're only $15. Decorative pillows can tend to get pretty expensive sometimes. You can pay a good $50 to $100 just for a pillow or two. The second thing that I happened to pick up were mirrored and tables and coffee tables. I knew that I wanted everything mirrored in this house. Even in my beauty room, I want mirrored furniture. So let me tell you guys, be careful when you order mirrored things because they will get shipped to you completely shattered and broken. I went through a lot with Target to get my pieces to come um, not shattered and to get my money back for these shattered items. These tables are about $100, but um, you can get them on sale for $65. Too bad I didn't get mine on sale for $65. I paid $100. So it's just basically a mirrored accent table or end table and then on top of the mirrored end table you will see this lamp I actually got this lamp from Walmart of all places and I think it's super cute it happens to match one of the pillows on the other couch so it kind of goes perfectly and on this lamp you can see the base is actually an Eiffel Tower how cute is that and then I also wanted to show you that on top of the actual um, end table, you will see another piece of glass that is right here. It's just a square piece of glass. I bought that to put on all of my accent mirror tables just so that when I put something on top of a table, it doesn't really scratch up the actual mirrored accent table. Instead, it anything it'll scratch up that little piece of glass and that little piece of glass that little piece of square glass is actually from Walmart and only costs maybe a dollar if anything so it is perfect for placing things on whether it be a lamp or candles or anything that you think might scratch up or mess up your mirrored pieces I want to show you guys this um, little piece that's on top of the couch and that's just basically a mere piece of decoration and as you guys can see most everything in this place is black and cream so next I basically wanted to show you this coffee table once again it's just basically another mirrored piece that I got from Target this mirrored piece I think it's about $130 but like I said, you can possibly find it on sale for cheaper than that. This piece actually came not broken. It's one of the few pieces that came not broken. So I was happy about that. And on top of the coffee table, you will find a picture of my niece over here. She is just the most gorgeous girl ever. I love her so much. And then I also put some candles. And like I told you guys, I got that um, squared mirrored piece from Walmart so that I can put my candles on top of it because candles can kind of smear and smudge on the table and I didn't want that. Then I put um, a magazine here. I just chose that magazine just because of the colors and stuff and I wanted to put some reading material on my coffee table. And then there's a picture of me and Will when we were younger and in high school. And sadly, Will and I don't have a lot of pictures that are printed off. We have a ton of pictures um, on our computer, but not printed off. So that's one of the pictures that I have that I can actually put out. We need to take more pictures and actually print them off. I 
I wanted to go back over here to the other cream couch we have. But next to the cream couch, we have another mirrored accent table. And this is actually a mirrored accent table from Target that you should not buy. Please do not buy this dome piece. The first piece they sent me was 100% shattered. I had to throw it away. This is the second piece they sent me. And this is also shattered, but not as badly. So I decided to save it. They actually told me to throw it away, but I was like, no, I'm not throwing this one away because it's not as bad, but I still got my money back. Um, you won't see where it's shattered. Where that glass piece is, that square glass piece is, it's shattered behind there. Yeah, I put that glass piece on top of it so you can't see where it's shattered. And of course, it's fragile because it's shattered. So I have to be super careful with it. And I decided to put it in this corner so that nobody would touch it. So yeah, this is a dome table. It's so gorgeous. I love it so much. But like I said, you can only order them. They don't have them in store. And for some reason, they always arrive shattered. So I have another picture of Will and I on top of this accent table and I have another Eiffel Tower lamp that I got from Walmart and if you guys notice that pillow right here matches perfectly with the lamp isn't that crazy the crazy part is I bought the lampshade from Walmart and I bought the pillow from TJ Maxx so I didn't even buy them from the same place yet they match so perfectly the other pillow you see sitting right next to it I bought that from Walmart. So this pillow is from TJ Maxx. This pillow is from Walmart. And as you can see, I have another set of them on the other side. So on top of the couch, we just have a cross. Um, this accent piece is actually from Ross, I think. I think it was probably $12. It's just a beautiful cross and it's nice to have, you know, a cross in our living room. So this door right here, it leads to our sunroom. The reason why I blocked it off is because we don't use the sunroom. We have no storage in this place, so we store everything in the sunroom. And so it's super junky back there. It sucks we have no storage and we're not able to use the sunroom. Yeah, so I just block it off so nobody can go in there. Now over here, we actually have pictures and it's just basically a mini bookshelf with some pictures on it and of course a window so um yeah the bookshelf is again from walmart and then there's pictures of my family and this is me and my brother i'm actually going to move this and put me and will up here when or when Will and i take a picture together that we can um put in a frame like this but yeah, that's my brother and I, and this is my whole family, my brother and I, my mom, my dad, and my brother, and then my mom and my dad. And then down here, once again, is me when I graduated from undergrad, and then my family on vacation in the Bahamas. So yeah, I just used this bookcase because I wanted to display some pictures of my family. And then down there is just a black box I actually store meal in that box and then um, another picture of me that Will hates. Will absolutely hates that picture of me, but oh well. Next to that we have a fireplace. Um, on that fireplace we have some items that I brought from home. Um, the candles I brought from home and then that love um, thing I brought from home. Another picture. Above that, I have a picture of a bridge. Now this, you guys have to ignore. Um, I got this TV stand from Walmart, and the TV is a TV that my husband brought from when he lived on base, on the barracks. And let's just say this TV is too small. We already know this, we need a new TV, but we want to buy a new TV um, during Black Friday so that we can get some sales. So right now we have this tiny, 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 tiny TV right there. And it looks kind of crazy, but oh well. Next we have this large mirror. Once again, I like mirrored things because it opens up the space and looks makes the space look a little bit larger. So we bought that mirror from Walmart. And I never thought I'd get a large mirror like that from Walmart. So I can now take outfit pictures in this mirror, post them on Instagram, although I haven't even started doing that yet. I'm almost never on Instagram, so yeah.
so it's a super small space but the only thing I can probably recommend to you guys if you are decorating a super small space stick with light colors I think in general I prefer light colors for any living space just because it doesn't make it look depressing and dull it brightens it up a bit and then also try to find a lot of mirrored pieces to kind of open up the space and it kind of reflects the light and all that good stuff so that is my living room for now but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys look forward to my beauty room tour and I will talk to you guys later bye loves love y'all